show you how you set up a connection to your IB account. As a foundation for the connection, you need an account with IB. Navigate to the website www.interactivebrokers.com. Here, select Open Account or Free Trial and begin the account opening process. Now follow the instructions on the registration form and enter the relevant data. After sending the form, IB will send you your login data for your account. You can also simply start the registration process for an account via our homepage www.aginatrader.com. Navigate to Partners, Brokers and select IB. Then click on Demo or Live depending on which account you would like to open and follow the registration form. If you would like to open an account via a white label broker from IB, select the corresponding broker on our website and click on live or demo account to start the process of opening an account. The settings that follow next are to be carried out identically for white label brokers from IB. As the next step, you need the Java environment. Open www.java.com, select free Java download, then agree and start free download. The setup is downloaded. Open this file and install Java. Once again, navigate to www.interactivebrokers.com, select Trading TWS Software, and click on TWS Latest Download. The setup is downloaded. Open this file and install the trading workstation. Open the TWS and enter the registration data that you've received from IB and log in. Here we now have to carry out several settings so that a Gina Trader can later establish a faultless connection to the TWS. First we activate the API connection. To do so, navigate to configure, select API Settings. Here activate the first option, Enable ActiveX and Socket Clients, and deactivate the option Read Only Mode API. Now we switch to the precautions. Activate the first option, Bypass Order Precautions for API Orders. Now select Lock and Exit. Here we have to configure the log off timer. The TWS wants to restart once a day and for this you can select a time here. Here you should choose a time outside of your trading times. I select 8am for the automatic restart so that before the market opening at 9am I can check once more whether the restart was carried out properly. Then click on OK. After this we still have to configure the trade log so that later all trades are displayed correctly. In the menu trade log Select Show Trades, All. Now we can set up the connection in Agena Trader. Open your Agena Trader. Click on Tools, Account Connections and select Add. Assign a name to the connection and select Interactive Brokers as the provider. Click on Next. In this window, enter your registration data that you've received from IB by email. Activate the options Auto Start TWS and Close TWS on Disconnect. With this, the TWS is automatically started up as soon as you want to establish a connection to IB in a Gina Trader and is also automatically closed as soon as you delete the connection in a Gina Trader. In the field Auto Reconnect Time Range, you now have to determine a time frame within which a Gina Trader automatically tries to re-establish the connection if the connection to IB is lost. This time range has to encompass the point in time that you've defined as the auto log off time in the TWS. It's recommended to choose a time span of plus or minus 5 minutes. So here I select a time range from 7.55 to 8.05. 
since I've specified the reconnect for 8am in the TWS. When the TWS now carries out an automatic restart at 8am, the connection is lost in a Genotrader. As soon as this happens, a Genotrader keeps trying to re-establish the connection until 8.05, as soon as the TWS can be accessed again. As soon as the TWS has carried out the restart, therefore, a Genotrader automatically establishes the connection again. Leave all further options on the standard settings, then click on Finish to conclude the setup. Please read the following message and click on Close. In this new window, the mappings are imported. This step is necessary in order for a Genotrader to know which data it should request from IB. Select the instruments that you've subscribed to with IB. You can find further information about the mappings in a Genotrader directly in the online help. Click on Import. Now the disclaimer opens up, which must be confirmed by clicking on OK. After this, the instruments are imported and then appear in bold lettering. After importing, click on Close. Now select IB as the broker connection. Unless you've subscribed to an external data feed, select IB as your data connection as well. In the tab Data Feeds, now as instrument types, select the asset classes that you would like to trade via IB. Similarly, in the tab Accounts, select these asset classes as well. These settings are important for the multi-brokerage in a Genotrader. You can find more information about multi-brokerage directly in the online help. Click on OK, select Main, Connections, Connect, Your Connection Name. Read the following warning carefully and then click on Establish Connection. As soon as the connection button in the bottom left turns dark green, you have an active connection to your IB account. Now we still have to switch to the instrument list NASDAQ 100 to check whether we're receiving correct data from IB. If you're not receiving any data for an instrument, this is most likely not enabled for you by IB. For this, please contact the IB support in order to unlock the relevant data. Finally, I'd like to inform you of some useful things to know about the connection with IB. A few important points, and be careful not to go over the maximum number of parallel histories.